What's good, YouTube? Future 22 J is back at you with another video, and I'm here to bring you the reviewing on foot of the Nike Dunk Low SE Bacon. Coming in the standard red and white Nike box, label reads, Women's Nike Dunk Low Premium, the colorway is sport red, sheen, straw, sail, and a Nike Dunk Low SE Bacon. This shoe released on December the 21st for the retail price of 125 US dollars. It seems as if every year Nike drops maybe one or two very special and very distinctive Nike Dunk Lows that has some of the best colorways, some of the craziest materials, and this is what they gave us. Now, this shoe is supposed to gain heavy inspiration from the Air Max 90 Bacon that dropped maybe two years ago. This is essentially the Air Max 90 Bacon in dark form. Getting into the details, starting at the bottom of the shoe, we have an all mocha brown outsole. We have an all white standard dark midsole. We have a combination of nice tumble leather and red new book all throughout. Wrapping around the heel, going down the eye stays, and around the toe box, we have nice sleek red new book. On the heel, mid panel, and on the toe box, we have, in my opinion, probably the best leather that we've gotten on a Nike Dunk Low this year. You can see all of the wrinkles, all of the cheeks bump everywhere on the heel around the ankle collar mid panel everywhere everywhere you touch the white leather on this shoe it wrinkles it <laughs> i cannot make this up this is so fine so going along with the uppers we have the nice subtle hits of paint on the swoosh on the heel on the back and on the tongue this shoe does not come with any spare laces even though some pink laces would have been fired with these it comes factory lace with some standard flat light tan colored laces all pink mesh tone with a small patch of brown leather headline in the top with the Nike logo embroidered in red inside. Now on the sock liner, the sock liner is something that I did not expect. The sock liner is made up of a light tan leather that matches the shoelaces perfectly. Now with sizing, these are standard women dunks, but some of them release in men extended sizing. Even though it's a women's shoe, when it comes down to the fit, it's not that big of a difference to where it's a major discrepancy to your size choice. Make sure you go to the size when it comes down to this shoe and also keep note it comes with a label on the side that states due to the dyeing process and nature of the suede materials you may experience some minor color bleeding on this product essentially what they're saying is don't return this product when you see dye on the sole this is a red dye we all know that the red dye is quite heavy so be careful with wearing them in the rain you might get red dye bleeding onto your leather or onto your outsole and this shoe is fresh from nike coming straight out the box there are some very minor red smudges along the midsole keep that in mind if you're going to pay that extra for it i'm just trying to make sure you know what you're getting yourself into now overall the color is flawless one of the best nike dunk low to release this year even though it released at the end of the year i know this is supposed to gain inspiration for the nike dunk low bacon but in my personal opinion i think this is the perfect shoe for valentine's day i know nine times out of ten nike is going to have a whole rollout of sneakers for Valentine's Day. I don't know if they're dubbing it for Valentine's Day or not, but Valentine's Day is only maybe two months away. I think I will rock these on Valentine's Day because it just has the whole aesthetic of a Valentine's Day shoot. And another thing, in the comment section below, you guys let me know what do you think about Nike's true intentions when it comes down to these Nike dunks. It's either been women's exclusive or it's been men's sizing. You just have to get the extended or the smaller versions of that dunk. I guess it's the get everybody to pay their full price if you really want them because at the end of the day it's still $125 retail so I don't know what the case is with that but at the end of the day Nike I thank you for the retail dub on sneakers app you guys were going crazy the last couple of months on my account let's make sure we keep that going in the 2024 so that sums up the review my name is Future22JS and I always know that there is no ceiling to your inner potential this was my review of the Nike Dunk Low Premium in the bacon colorway thank you guys for watching I'll catch you on the next video I'm about to leave you with an on foot make sure to dream with your eyes open and always remember that your fear ends when your faith begins. Peace.